What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I am Ant217 and today I noticed something. A lot of people have some really cool OCs. Um, and for those of you who don't know what an OC is, it just means original character. Now technically every character is an original character. Somebody made it at some point. But when we say OC is usually a character that we made. So I need an OC. I need an original character that I made. Now I do have a bunch these are some, some cartoony ones, and I have others that I've, you've seen me draw, but I realized something. The best OCs have white hair. Think about it. Nima by Ross Draws, white hair. Kara from Sam Does Arts, white hair. Goku, Ultra Instinct, white hair. Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones, white hair. Witcher from The Witcher, white hair. Betty White, white hair. Rest in peace. So today, I'm gonna create an original character with white hair. Let's get started. So to create my original character, I'm gonna go through a few steps on how I get from my idea to my finished piece. So step one is the idea. Now I already have an idea of what I want because I know I want a character with white hair. Now I have this base of what I want the character to look like, I want her to have this body type. So I have this base and I make a bunch of copies of it. I draw on top of it. I start with my character having curly hair. Nima has straight hair, Kara has straight hair. I wanna be different. My character is gonna have a curly ponytail. I continue with this idea. Put a small cape on her shoulders and a uh, crooked belt. I just think the crooked belt looks cooler. Then I decide to move on to a new idea. So I make another copy of what I already have and make some changes. Now, when I was younger, I always wanted my character to have hoodies. I don't know why I loved hoodies on all my characters. <laughs> and so I add that, I give the cape a hoodie and also I make it longer just to get it further away from the original idea. Add it in her curly ponytail, but I put the ponytail higher up on her head because I think it'll make the silhouette pop more. I was actually really happy with this sketch, so I started to add color to the sketch. I gave her a black cape, a white shirt to match her white hair, and made another copy and changed the colors again just to get some more ideas. And I kind of like this red cape better because I was thinking, Kara is a good character, Nima is a good character. What if I want my characters to be a little bit more bad? <laughs> so I gave her colors that you sort of associate with bad, which is black and red. Now, I know there are exceptions to the rule. Santa Claus wears red. He is not bad, is he? He does break into your house, eat your cookies. Don't eat my cookies, Santa. Those are mine. Oh my gosh, Santa Claus, white hair. So this is what I have for step one, the ideas. I just used three of these sketches. Usually I would do more, but I'm kind of happy with the way these came out. And I add color to the first one just to give it its fair shot. But ultimately, I move on to step two. Step two is a refined sketch. I know we just did a sketch in step one, but it's messy. Some of the details aren't fleshed out, so we're gonna try to get some more details in there and make a better sketch. So using my, my first three sketches as reference, I start to recreate the character in a more detailed, refined sketch. I went with the lower ponytail for this sketch just because I wanted to see what I thought about it. Ultimately, I do decide on the higher ponytail. Again, I just think it gives a better silhouette. The color I end up choosing for the refined sketch is the red cape because that's the one I preferred and I want her to look a little bit more bad. 
So I continue with this sketch. I do add a little bit of rendering. You don't have to do rendering for the refined sketch, but I do suggest you do it because it just helps the, the refined sketch pop. It gets your ideas out and it looks awesome. So when I'm happy with that sketch, I make a copy of it just so that when I make more changes and I might mess something up, I still have the first one to fall back on. So I make a copy and I want to push the bad parts of the sketch. <laughs> so I give her a scar on her lip, kind of like the Joker, and I push the shadows on her face just to make her look a little bit more evil. I do add a Nema dot on her forehead, but mine is hollow, so it's different, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. I just thought it would be fun to have that little um, nod to uh, Nima. But that was step two. These are my refined sketches. I love the way they came out. I think this character is coming along smoothly. I think she looks awesome already, but it's time to move on to step three, final image. So to start with the refined image, I once again start sketching. Yes, I know I've been sketching a lot this video, but you need a good foundation to get a good final image. So I use the two previous steps as references to continue on this character journey. One thing I decided to keep was the scar on the lip. I want to push her bad <laughs> side. <laughs> I'll stop that now. <laughs> I wanted to push that, so I kept the scar. I actually like the double belt. I used to do that as a kid a lot. Also, as much as I did the the hoodie, I just felt like it was cooler. Um, I just, I, I've never seen people in real life wear double belts. Maybe it's not that cool. Hmm. Anyway, so I kept that double belt thing. So I continue to sketch trying to capture what I captured already in the first two steps. And then I move on to the inks. I just go over what I already have with the black pen. Make sure you flip the canvas during your sketch phase so that you can see mistakes. I noticed here that I did not like the eye when I flipped the canvas um, during the inking phase, but it's all right. I try to fix the eye during the inking phase and try to fix it before I get into the coloring. Now, here is a quick tip for the people that use Clip Studio. I'm sorry for everybody else, but this tip is just for Clip Studio users. Now, Clip Studio has this amazing feature that it automatically colors your image on its own. You don't have to do anything. That is awesome. So if you don't know what colors you want to use for your drawing or for your character, for whatever it is, set it to a reference layer by right clicking the layer thumbnail then go to set as reference layer. Then you go to edit, colorize and then it colors it for you. So if you don't know what colors to use, it'll do it for you. It's a good starting point. You can use what they suggest or not. It does not matter. You can change things or you can keep it. Now, if you know what colors you want to use, you can set the inks to a reference layer again, make a new layer and color in. Doesn't have to be neat. Use a little color for the parts you know you want to be that color, like I'm doing here, and then go back to edit colorize and instead of just pressing the colorize button you use colorize with hint image and it'll use the colors you put in those sections to color your image now you can get better detail by adding some rendering and sometimes you can get something truly amazing that you don't even have to continue coloring but again it can just be a good starting point i did this because I feel like I can see more mistakes when I have a fully colored image. So I did this really quick just to see if I can find mistakes when I flip the canvas, which I did. I don't use that um, colorization to color my image. I actually color it myself, but you can use it. You don't have to do what you want. Another thing I noticed when I flipped the canvas is that 
I don't like the anatomy too much. I should have drawn the anatomy and then put the cape over her. Instead, I just drew the cape and I imagined where the shoulders would, would be. I should have drawn the shoulders in, in the sketch, and then put the cape over it just so it looks more real. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise, but my puppy just gave birth to four puppies and they make a lot of noises. So cute. So after I'm done with the base colors, I start rendering. Now for my rendering, I use a combination of hard shadows and soft shadows. I want a painterly look, but also like cell shading. So I kind of combined the two somewhat. That is just my style of working on rendering. And I love the end result using this um, style. Now I did add that Nima circle to her forehead. Um, not sure if I'm gonna keep it. What, what do you guys think? Before, after. Before, after. With it, without. I don't know. <laughs> I did add tattoos to her face. I don't actually keep it. I didn't really like that, but you know, you try things out. And then I add an elemental fiery companion for her to talk to because she ain't got no friends. Because she's bad. <laughs> anyway, so here is my final render of Hasira. And you know what? Here it is with the elemental and the Nima circle. I love the way she came out. I'm not sure which one I like more, so that's why I showed you both. But comment down below, let me know which one you like more. Let me know if you guys have your own white-haired OCs. I wanna know about your OCs. Let me know. Tell me. Tell me. I'm awesome. I think. Thanks for watching. <laughs>